Hi everyone, it's Rosie here and guess what? A month ago I celebrated my 3 year old vegan anniversary. So for the past 3 years I've been following a high carb pro plant based diet and I've never felt better. So in this video I will share with you more about my weight loss, about my health, about my fitness. I will share with you my challenges, I will also share with you my successes. I will share with you everything. So stay tuned. So what exactly happened for these 3 years? Everybody knows that I've lost 70 pounds, which is 35 kilograms. I've also cured various health problems. I had these digestive problems, this condition called gastritis, which is basically something like uh, inflammation of uh, your upper part of your stomach. So every time I was eating, I was feeling bloated, I was in pain and I had the feeling that my stomach will burst. And it was quite unpleasant. For, a, for this condition I visited various doctors, they all prescribed different pills which they didn't work. They also advised me not to eat any pro fruits and vegetables and I didn't eat any pro fruits and vegetables for one year but I was still feeling bloated and in pain. So I started eating back and I was again bloated and in pain but it wasn't because of the raw fruits and vegetables. It was because of the other foods I was eating. So the other problem I had was hormonal issues. I had this problem with this hormone. I don't know if that's the right word in English, but it's prolactine. Basically, you secrete in high amounts this hormone when, when you are lactating, when you are having a baby and when you are breastfeeding. But back then, I wasn't pregnant. I didn't have a child. I was not breastfeeding, but my levels were you know, high in the air. They were suspicious that I might have a brain tumor, so I passed all these different uh, tests, MRIs and so on, so I didn't have luckily any tumor, but I had to take some pills. So I was taking these pills and I was feeling fine. The moment I stopped taking these pills, again my levels were high in the air. And it was pretty uncomfortable because, you know, I was feeling my breasts the same way that women feel them when they are lactating and they have difficulties, you know, lactating so they were my my uh, my teeth were really big they were really painful and from time to time there was something like milk coming out which was really really unpleasant and i was in pain only by uh, the clothes touching my uh, my breasts it was really horrible so the only way i was i was able to control my levels were by taking some pills and I might tell you that for the last three years I've never taken a pill for that and my levels every time I check them are fine and my breasts are finally normal size and they're not painful. I also had really big problems with my sleep. I had this insomnia and no matter how tired I was, I was simply unable to go to bed, to fall asleep before 3, 4, 5 a.m. And I was sleeping like between 2, 3, 5 maximum hours per night. I was really feeling very tired. And you know when you don't sleep enough for one night, the next day you feel like grumpy and not in the mood, you cannot think fast, you don't have energy. Can you imagine if you don't sleep enough for years? Yeah, that was me. Also my nails were used to be really brittle. Every time I touched something harder than my nail, it was breaking and it was like horrible horrible feeling. I had to cut my, my nails really deep and again they were breaking all the time. I was wearing nail polish just not to break but they were still breaking and from the nail polish they were thinner and thinner and you know it was like a vicious circle. But now my nails are fine, I've never worn nail polish for the last three years and my nails are really quite okay and hard and they are not breaking anymore. I used to have acne it was not, you know, really bad kind of an acne, but, you know, my skin during my puberty, during my teenage years was perfect, you know, perfect. But when I was in my 20s, I started having pimples here and there and here and there. It was quite unpleasant because these pimples were leaving scars and my face from having uh, this grey face, I had this curved face, always inflamed with some pimples. So when I changed my diet, things improved, they are still improving. 
I'm uh, still investigating what exactly is the reason. I will make a separate video about uh, my face care routine, what I've learned about my acne, what helps and so on. But yeah, my acne improves, it's almost gone. Um, there are some occasional pimples from time to time and my, my scars are healing every day. So for the past three years, what else besides weight loss and health improvements I noticed? I really feel much more energized. I have this energy that I never had have before, or maybe I had this energy when I was drinking and when I was eating like one chocolate and then when from the cacao I was having this energy. But now no, I rarely or barely eat cacao and I have this energy all the time. I sleep so much better. You know, even if I sleep five or six hours, I wake up much more energized than I used to wake up before. Because you know, before when I was eating a lot of animal products, a lot of fats, my body, my stomach, my digestive system was digesting all, the whole night and that, that's, that's energy. So my energy was like 90% consumed by my digestion because I was stuffing things in my mouth. What else changed? I feel more self-conscious. I feel more conscious about myself, about, about what I do what I eat, what I wear, how I feel. I feel more conscious about other beings, human beings or animal beings. I feel more conscious, more compassionate, more willing to help, more willing to make people happier or animals happier in general. I also feel more conscious about the environment. I'm very careful what I do and I do my best to not to harm the environment. So many people ask me how I started. Well, I started overnight. I've seen some videos on YouTube and I decided it like for one minute. What gained me on, uh, on this lifestyle was that you can eat unlimited amounts of fruits and vegetables. And I was always a big eater. I always loved eating a lot. And, and when I heard about this lifestyle, I was like, yeah, I can eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, I can do that. So I started overnight and of course at the beginning I didn't have time, you know, one night is not enough to make the research, to learn more about this lifestyle, about food combining, about what you should eat, how you should eat in order to feel better, satisfied, not to have cravings. Uh, so at the beginning of course I've made some mistakes. One of the mistakes I made was eating more fats. So I was eating like something like 40-50% of my calories were coming from fats because it was much easier to get my calories in uh, from fats because you know you can eat a handful and you feel uh, don't, not hungry but otherwise you have to eat like 5-10 bananas to feel okay. So the beginning nuts and seeds were uh, like a good alternative for me but uh, with time I learned that they are not perfect for my digestion and every time I eat nuts and seeds, you know, not in a, not in a dressing for the salad or uh, for some sauce or, and so on, every time I eat whole nuts or seeds, I feel bloated. I don't know what's the case, but I feel bloated, so I avoid them like black now. The other mistake, the main, the other main mistake I made was that I was eating small portions, you know, I was eating my breakfast for two hours, then I was eating my lunch for two hours, I was eating my dinner for two hours and I was having snacks in between. So when you made the calculations I was eating like all the time, small portions, which is not good for my digestion because you know you eat all the time, you digest all the time, you don't give your digestive system a break and when you eat two or three or four times a day, it's much better for your digestion because you know you have meal in, meal out, meal in, meal out. But when you eat all the time, what happens? So these were my two main mistakes I made at the beginning. And maybe I, used, I continue making them for quite some time, maybe for almost one year. So in terms of weight loss, Everybody, when they start a new diet or a new lifestyle, they're anxious to get results. And everybody is asking, how long did it take to lose this weight? Well, for me, it took two years to lose 70 pounds or 35 kilograms. For you, it can take one year or it can take five years. 
It really depends from your starting point, your background, how badly, uh, how many health issues do you have. Because these lifestyles is not about weight loss, it's about self-healing. If you want to clean your system and if you want to cure your illnesses, if you want your body to operate at its best, that's your diet. And if you want to do that, you don't ask questions such as, can I lose, you know, 100 pounds for one month? No, you can't. So I lost these 70 pounds for two years. I never kept a journal, but based on my memories, for the first two months, I've lost something like 20 pounds, which is 10 kilograms. And always the beginning is faster because, you know, I was eating salt, I was eating animal products, I was eating shit. So I was retaining a lot of water. So this uh, 20 pounds I lost for the two months, for the first two months, wasn't fat, it was mainly water. So for the first year I lost something like 40 pounds, which is 20 kilograms, and then for two years I've lost uh, 70 pounds, 35 kilograms. From year two to year three I didn't lose anything. I even gained a few pounds. And that happened because, you know, last year was really stressful for me. I had many changes in my job, in my family. Um, there were things going on all the time, you know. One bad thing comes and then you are, oh no, there won't be any bad things happening to me. And then when you finally feel happy and forget everything, a new bad thing comes. And I was like that all the time. So I, I gained a few pounds. I didn't start eating more. Maybe I started eating more nuts uh, because, you know, I was feeling very stressed and nervous and at night I had, the, I had the need to stuff something in my mouth, you know, bad habits. So maybe that was the reason why. And also stress doesn't work good for you. You can gain weight for, from stress. I made a, a video about it. I put a link down below. So I didn't lose anything. I even gained a few pounds the last year, but that didn't discourage me. I wasn't like, oh, I'll go back to eating normal again. No, normal way of eating is now the plant-based, the raw, high-carb, plant-based diet is the normal way of eating for me. So about my health, what happened with my health? As I said, no more digestive problems. I still have them if I don't combine my, my foods uh, my meals okay. For example, if I eat fruits and nuts, you have it. Um, for example, dates and nuts, no. Bananas and nuts, no. You get you you get bloated. Uh, also, when I when I, as I mentioned, if I eat nuts or seeds just like that the whole way, I get bloated immediately. Maybe because they are not water rich, they're being dehydrated. I don't know. But every time I eat nuts and seeds, this way I get bloated. If I put them in dressing for the salad or something else, I feel fine. But, you know, when I eat them in their whole form, I feel bloated. I mentioned about my hormonal problems, they're just fine. No pills for three, three years, hormonal levels are just fine. Uh, I also had uh, very greasy hair, I had to wash it like every day or every other day just to feel nice but uh, since I started this lifestyle and since I changed the products I use my hair is just fine it's, it's growing fine and I, I before I used to dye my hair I've, I've been dyeing my hair since I, I was like se I was 17 so I was dyeing my hair for many years and uh, two years ago I decided to stop so I stopped dyeing my hair and it was great, you know, where the roots are, but when the ends are, it was really dry. So a few months ago, I decided to cut all the dyed hair that was left. And now it's growing like crazy and it's like fine. I stopped using all these commercial shampoos and so on. I'll also make another video about that, about my hair care routine I'll share with you. So yeah, my hair is not that greasy anymore. I wash it like twice per week but I could easily wash it if I want twice per, once per week. I wash it twice per week because I live in the city and the area is quite polluted. 
So that's the reason. Another thing that I noticed that, you know, I was always hairy, you know, I was not, as you can see, I have almost black hair, so all my hairs show, and you can tell that I have hairs on my leg, on, on my arms, so I was, uh, I've, not, I've noticed that since I'm on this lifestyle, my body hair grows slower and not that much. And it makes sense because before I was eating dairy, meat, and it's full of hormones. So it's normal when you cut off all these hormones not to have so such hairy hair, such hairy body. So I also changed the products I use on myself, in my house. Before I was, you know, going to the supermarket and I was just buying different shampoos, different lotions, uh, uh, washing liquids and so on. But now I always choose something that is not harmful for me, uh, for, uh, for my pets, uh, for the environment. So I always choose something that is really basic and really natural. About uh, what changes in, with my family, with my friends. Uh, so I have a partner and we've been living together for eight years. So we started this journey together which, and I'm really thankful for that because maybe if I was alone I wouldn't manage to succeed but we were together supporting ourselves. So my, my family, my mother and my father at the beginning they were like oh great you're on a diet, you're losing weight because you know I'm their child and they want me to look good. So they were happy but at some point they were but, but uh, how can't you not eat uh, meat? It's, uh, it's not good for you. But I was really firm on my decisions and every time they told me something, for example, meat is good for you, I had this argument, you know, scientific argument to prove them wrong. So they're okay now. They're a little bit confused what to do. They don't invite us much at their, in their place, you know, for meals because my mother is like with tight hands, she doesn't know what to prepare for us. But she's learning and we will get there. About friends, well, we have this rule at home. If you want to come at our house and have dinner together, you gotta have a vegan meal. No animal products for humans in our house. So all, our, all of our friends know that when they come here, I will cook something vegan for them. I, won't, uh, I don't force them to eat raw, if they decide to try then I'm okay, but if they're not willing to try raw meals uh, then I'm cooking something for them and of course at the beginning I wasn't putting salt and oils in their meals and they were feeling like Ugh, it doesn't taste good. So finally I decided it's much better for them to eat a vegan meal with salt and with, with oils than eating non-vegan meal. So I cook for them and I try to indulge them with something nice. What happened with fitness? Well, that's the thing I'm not proud a lot. In terms of fitness, you know, I'm much stronger than I was before. I can carry my partner who is much heavier than I am, but I can carry him on my back, which is quite an accomplishment before I didn't manage. I wasn't able to do that. Uh, my muscles really show more, but what I'm not proud of is that I didn't manage for these three years fine. I didn't manage to find time to do some adequate amount of sports. So I really hope that will change and I'm not really motivated about that and don't, don't do it like me. You know that, now you know that I lost these 70 pounds without doing much sport, but it's much better when you do sport and you can get faster results. Some people ask me if I eat cooked food. I made a video about it, you can find it here. I'll also put a link down below. For the first two years, I didn't eat any cooked food. Maybe I ate some like roasted peppers in my salad when I was uh, traveling and didn't have much choice, but that was it. Uh, then a few months or maybe one year ago, I decided to give it a try because you know uh, the whole YouTube was like you can eat cooked meals now. So I decided to give it a try to see how it will work for me. 
as a backup plan, I find it okay. But long term, no. If I eat two or three vegan meals, one after the other, cooked, I don't feel good. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry because it would much it would it would have been much easier for me as well. But I don't feel well. I get bloated. I also get more tired. I don't wake up easily in the morning and I retain water and I don't eat salt. So you can check my video about it. In short, cooked meals, yes, I could have some if I'm traveling and I don't have a choice, another choice of eating fruits or if I'm too hungry and I don't want to fast. But that's it. Also many people ask me about cravings, but I, I promise to make a, a separate video about it. Because cravings is a really, you know, hot topic. Many people can interpret them in a different way. But in this video I will say that cravings, you can manage them quite easily. If you are consistent in, your, in what you do and if you are consistent in uh, meeting your goals. What I eat now? So I start my day with huge glass of water, then I eat some um, fruits. It depends on the season. I prefer to be juice in the morning or orange juice or watermelon, something water rich. But if we don't have any in the market at that moment, I go for a smoothie with bananas and dates or whatever. For lunch, I, again, I have fruits, enough fruits. And then for dinner, maybe I will start with fruits and then I will have a big salad with some nuts and seeds in it in a form of a dressing or in form of uh, crackers. So what next? What is next for me? I really would like to focus on uh, my fitness levels. I really would like to incorporate more exercise, more sport in my life. And I really hope that now I will have the time to do it. I will also like to make my diet cleaner. I mean, uh, to, f to, uh, to eat more cleaner products, to be able to supply myself with uh, organic, more organic produce than I, I, I manage now. What, what's next in terms of my YouTube presence? Well, I really hope that uh, now I can be consistent in my YouTube videos. I really hope that I could manage to upload at least one video per week. That's my goal. Uh, as I told you, the last year was crazy. I really started my YouTube channel in a really bad moment, but uh, I know I've been promising the last months that that will change, that will change and it never changes. But uh, I had to move my uh, to move houses, so that was the reason why I didn't keep my promise the last time. But now I'm in in the new house, and hopefully I will manage to do that. So I would like really like to be more consistent on YouTube and to upload at least one or two videos per week. I will have more receipt videos, for sure. Uh, I would like to share with you many receipts. I also have many tips on, you know, these how-to videos about, for example, hair care routine, uh, face care routine, and so on and so on, house care routine, and so on. And maybe I would, if I manage to dive into fitness area, I will publish some fitness videos as well. So let me know, what, uh, is there anything you would like to, to see from me? Do you want me to... Uh, talk about some topics Let me know So thank you very much for watching It was really a pleasure to share with you all that if you have any questions Please make sure to put them below if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Thank you for watching Bye